Hello everybody, this is Jayton Gunter, author of Fruit and Glass and owner of Grapes and Sand Publishing Company. Uh, this is another um, section of Book Talk. This is going to be section three. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and make a video and, you know, explain to you exactly uh, if, if you're trying to write a book. Um, I've already gone through two, two uh, different sections of that. Uh, the first one being um, write about what you're passionate about. Uh, the second being find your audience, find your market. And this third one is going to be a, kind of like a, um, it's going to be information about, or like, I, I guess, uh, yeah, information about trying to figure out, um, like when to start writing the book. Also, once you start writing the book, uh, how, how, how authentic you need to be, because honestly, you need to be very authentic. Um, I'm going to get to that in a second. And um, lastly, um, what are some of the key, um, I guess, uh, key things you need in order to complete the book going forward? So section three, let's let's get started. Um, oh, by the way, before I even get there, uh, my book, Fruit and Glass, which is right here, um, it is actually now my, I have an ebook now, a uh, version of this. Oh, I'm going through Amazon. Uh, so if you are, if you have a Kindle or uh, something like that, uh, you can go into Amazon, download it. It's only eight dollars and ninety nine cents right now. And um, yeah, take advantage. Uh, if you are no longer looking at long, like get, grabbing books, tangible books, and reading out of those, um, I know that everyone's going towards Kindle style type reading. So if you're looking for some more material for reading, please go check out this. Uh, go check out my book on uh, on Amazon. Okay, so section three. Section three is, uh, first of all, uh, with those previous sections, the next thing you have to do before you even start figuring out what key points you're going to, what key components you're going to need in order to uh, uh, complete the book is you just got to start writing. Uh, just whatever ideas in your head about like what you want to write about, just start writing about it. Uh, you don't have to worry about structure right now, but once you get started, I think that's uh, the, the best way, in my opinion, to actually start to complete the project. Because what happens a lot of times is people will start to uh, think about the the, uh, the the pinpoint, you know, like if you're doing an outline, figuring out like, you know, the you have a point, you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to do that. Just start writing because that's going to open up. Once your mind is starting to go create, create, create <laughs> creatively, then, uh, then you can start focusing on what the, uh, what the denotative part of it is, which is, you know, like the structural part and figuring out what you need to do in order to complete the book. Uh, so start writing. Next thing is be very authentic. I've realized that a lot of times um, what happens with people is they may be interested in a subject, but they don't, they're not really into it. They don't, not into it, but they're not really living it. They don't, um, they're not fully understanding what is going on within whatever you are into or what you want to write about. Um, so for example, with me, um, I'm into wine, right? Of course, everybody knows I'm into wine. This, this whole thing is based off of wine. Um, with me being into wine, uh, I wouldn't have been able to write this book, even though I had a, a business of my own, I would not have been able to write this book and understand a lot about, uh, the, uh, the atmosphere around wine without being in it. So what I did, and this wasn't, this is not, I didn't do this in hopes of writing a book. I just did this, uh, because I wanted to. Uh, to, get, to understand more about wine, and the book came from that. Uh, I started originally. I went to culinary, French culinary, or it, now it's international, International Culinary Institute in Campbell, uh, to go and try to get my sommelier, uh, sommelier certification, just so I could have something to back me up with my own wine business. And so, what I did that that was that was for me to uh, substantiate myself as far as being part of this industry, but. I also want to learn some key basics that I probably, that I didn't know that I didn't know. You know what I mean? There's some things I learned so much there that I didn't even know that I needed to know. Uh, it helped a lot. So make sure that whatever you want to write about, you get totally in, you you dive into the waters of whatever you're trying to write in, write about, because that in long term is going to be better for you to create a, a piece of, a piece of literature that people gravitate towards because they, they will know that you're being authentic. Um, another thing I did too is I got into the industry by, um, you know, uh, working at a wine bar slash restaurant in San Francisco. And I, I did that. I've been doing that for six years. I still do that, um, as a part-time supervisor there. 
Um, and it's a great job. I get paid to drink wine, you know, and talk about wine and explain, um, you know, the passion surrounding it. Um, so that's definitely something I did too. And I, I hope that you guys would do the same in order to be more authentic with your book. Um, so we've talked about just starting to write, just get down and start writing whatever it is you want to write about. Second thing is being authentic. Another thing with being authentic too is, uh, the internet has receipts. <laughs> so <laughs> if you want to be honest, uh, if you're not being authentic, the internet no, like anybody can look you up and be like, oh, this person's not talking. He's not living what he's talking. And so I recommend if you don't want people checking in and trying to see how legitimate you are, that you actually uh, have you you've actually done exactly what you said you've done or you're writing about something that you really know what you're writing about. Um, and then lastly, this is when it starts. Be, it goes from um, the whole idea of the creative part of this to uh, execution. Um, you definitely need to outline after you started writing, start outlining exactly what points you want to hit. Like for me, I wanted to write about some hot regions in the, in the world about wine. And I also wanted to write about some of the more, um, more, um, I would say original regions like France, Italy, things like that. Um, so I wrote about that. I also wrote about pairing. So I had everything broken down. Um, that's what I recommend you do. If you're going to be, uh, whatever you're writing about, you definitely want to have, after you started writing it, then maybe I would say like the first 10, 15 pages after that, then I would say, go ahead and start having an outline, set up an outline. Cause now you kind of understand where you're going with this before you probably didn't even understand fully where you were going after you started to write, uh, things start popping, starts bubbling in your head and you will be easier for you to, uh, I guess, execute it to the finish line. Um, and then, um, once you're done with that, uh, as far as outlining, then we get into the other stuff. And what I mean by the other stuff is um, whether you're going to have photography in your book, whether you're going to like who's going to edit your book, things like that. But I'm gonna, that's going to be section four. I'm not going to even get into that right now. But yes. So, again, we're going to we, we talked about first section was all passion about the writing or about what, what you're writing about. Second thing is find your market. And the third thing is start writing. Once you start writing, make sure you're authentic authentic within whatever you're writing and also outline everything once you're past about once you're past about 10 or 15 pages you want to outline everything uh but guys other than that i hope you're having a wonderful day and um till next time cheers